Alright. <laughs> Welcome to Alex Rider. Uh, I'm Am Further and this is this wonderful games intro. Wonderful games intro. <laughs> Basically a little bit of context but also uh, you get to see who was uh, in this movie. So Alex Ryder was a novel and it was turned into a movie. Um, and then they made games out of it because of course. Oh, there's a bunch of famous actors. Maybe you recognize some of them. I see chat that says already recognized. Or at least one of them. But yeah. <laughs> it's certainly an experience, this film. Uh, I've w I've read the novel and I've seen the movie. So yeah. <laughs> Alright. So I'll start this timer in... Uh, okay. Whenever this screen comes up, okay. That time in three, two, one, and go. So, we're not playing as Alex initially. We're playing as uh, Ian Ryder, who is his uncle. So, and basically, he has infiltrated uh, Cell Enterprises and has uh, found out some really big information. So he's he's just gotta get out of there. And yes, um, <laughs> the actor is uh, who's portraying him is Ewan McGregor. You know, you know, you know, Star Wars fame. So this game has some interesting controls. So basically, what we're doing is like we're basically not moving as long as we, not pushing forwards as long as we sprint. So it's basically like tank controls, but in this game, also our stamina meter is you know how we run oh my good goodness okay i got a bit lucky there so these power-ups that i collect can contain different things i'm also being very mindful of my stamina meter because if i uh, lose uh, all my stamina i have to catch my breath and that stops my movement completely and wait for this guy for, excuse me He made it a little bit tougher. But yeah, so in, in combat, you actually have a time limit to beat the guard. Otherwise, they'll alert everyone and you get like an immediate game over. So that's lovely. <laughs> it's not like Metal Gear Solid where you can like still have that self meter, but still have the whole uh, alert meter and they will keep on infinitely spawning or something like that. But yeah. That's uh, one bad mechanic we have to deal with. So we're just basically getting to the end of this run runway here. We don't need to recharge our stamina, hopefully, if I got my stamina correctly. So, and we're gonna go enter into one of the first of our mini games. So, <laughs> and also there's a cutscene. So, this mini game is pretty straightforward. It's basically an auto scroller. And yeah, we just have to kick guys off the motorcycle while we're like, while we're driving. Also, yeah, they're also pretty stupid.
the end. Each area you swap sides. I know they filmed it in the area and I can't remember exactly where but I think they tried to keep the filming locations mainly to prison for the most part. successfully escaped on the motorbike right well uh no uh ian gets killed and uh now we're finally playing as alex and uh you may recognize at least one of the actors in that also this has like a weird thing where you have to hold the button then you press a to make the text go fast <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna use the bomb screen to uh see alex's legs and you get all this information about him with the status screen. You also see a map, and it's also like an item stuff which uh, we won't use. Anyway, and you go on the legs. Okay, nothing. I think I got a punch upgrade or a block upgrade or something like that. So when you collect power ups, you can get like one of four options. Uh, the best is the speed boost, which uh, will be indicated by 150%. Uh, also, yeah, this is a random worker, and we're just kicking him. Also, yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, we got the speed boost, nice. Fortunately, it'll be a part where we're about to initiate combat. But as you can see, uh, each time I do an action, it will... Complete the stamina meter, and I can't afford to lose all. all otherwise, I'll just run out of breath and lose a lot of time. Watch myself and try to avoid this dude. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> He'll just try and beat me up, but I'm just gonna run away from him. Oh, let me grab that. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Also, yeah, we gain experience, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but you can see this is partially an RPG as well. <laughs> yeah, the thing that guy gives me a low up, and I'm just gonna run past these guys, because I do not care for them. But yeah. If you're spotted by more guys, you're gonna be have a higher detection meter. And and yes, Alex is that age. Yeah. Alright. So we finally reached the end of the order records uh, to see our uncle's car. And it turns out uh It doesn't look like he was in a traffic accident. As uh, they gave him that excuse. Instead it was um there's clearly bullet holes in the car. And the uh, here the um all the records just spills in the beans about where to go. Oh my goodness. Uh, completely whiffed him. Why am I whiffing this guy?
But yeah, ideally you want to catch like uh, boss enemies in like infinites, like this. Fortunate. All right, there we go. Got them. <laughs> But yeah, kicks are more powerful than punches, so that's why I prefer kicks. And this mini game is like literally one of the hardest things in the game. So what we have to do is we have to follow behind this dude. You may recognize him. And there's a lot of fail conditions to this game. Uh, the biggest fail condition is if you go in front of him at any point, even just a little bit, you just instantly lose the mini game. There's a, just a lot of instant lose conditions. Like if your caution gauge fills up, if um, oh goodness, um, if he gets too far away from you, there's just a lot. If you happen to bump into him, that's also an instant lose condition. Oh my goodness, don't go in front. Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is a little awkward because you have this weird top-down angle. What's really nice is there's no stamina meter. This is probably the only point in the game where you in like you're not at the whims of the stamina meter. Yeah, the reason why I got the caution gauge up so high initially is because he actually moves faster. <laughs> Oh, I need hide. Yeah, okay. Also, if you're having to bump to any random person, wow, that was fast. Uh, if you're having to bump to any random person, they'll just stop you in your tracks as well. So they give them a chance to get away. That was really good. So now we're... <laughs> so because we followed that guy into a photo booth, we find out that uh, MI6... Oh, M... Yeah, MI6 is recruited us to take the place of our uncle and to find out what he found out. So yes, they're, they're recruiting teenagers to do what adults can't do. So ideally I want to get a surprise, which is when uh, that purple thing like uh it still popped up and you activate it during that and you get like a little special like effect i'm not gonna actually collect that yet i'll collect it on the way out <laughs> see if i can surprise this guy no <laughs> And yeah, right now we're doing a boot camp, which is why we're we're here, basically. Because we have to do special training, of course. Check stuff. But yeah, you can touch any of those uh, at, during the cutscene, which is nice. <laughs> Why is the car not there? Should get the cutscene, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ask me to do it in a weird sequence of events. And now we go back to our computer, yeah.
So that door will lead us to the second part of the level. Which is, uh, as you can see, completely outdoors. And the first thing we're going to do is go back because there's a level up thing behind us. So effectively we've just gained two levels which is really nice. Fortunately I'm not getting any speed ups but... Oh please, this dude is so strong. This dude... Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I just got destroyed. Oh my goodness, am I good? Okay, good, we didn't die. <laughs> Bit concerning for my HP though. Sneak past this dude. Okay, <laughs> let me go past, thank you. This is like the third area, and I am not getting lucky. At least my kick power is a bit stronger, but yeah. That's all I've got going for me at the moment. Oh, I got spotted. That's unfortunate. Go! Oh! oh, wow! I got destroyed. Wow, that's a first. <laughs> wow, I have not died in a while. We get to see the game over screen. Where's it put me? Okay, it puts me inside this area. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't get spotted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Be careful. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, so because I level up, my stamina meter does get longer. And uh, if I run out of breath, I have to wait for longer as well. Anyway, so here's this mini game. Uh, there's a lot of camera angles, which are completely unnecessary, but it's they're there. And basically, we gotta avoid the obstacles and not get hit by them. Obviously, uh, the less you get hit by, uh, the faster you go. And also, Alex can clip through them.
But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You, and you just press up to uh, avoid the branches down below. And instead of like jumping in the middle of the target there, we're just going to get off as fast as possible. The game lets us through anyway, so yeah. Oh, we get lucky here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Probably won't keep the um, thing until this fight, but it's very good. <laughs> get a little extra speed up. But yeah, this is our uh, major, I guess. And for some reason, the dialogue, this dog box goes extra slow. I, mean, I can't make it go any faster. Anyway, so this guy. Um, yeah, he's Gar from Street Fighter, basically. now we're officially an agent and uh, we've gone in um, Darius the Sales Mansion by a way of a competition winner that gets to test out um, the Stormbreaker computers and gets to be the very first person to test them out. Uh, so he's undercover as uh, the contest winner, uh, Kevin. And uh, we get to explore his mansion after um, missing the uh, Stormbreaker computer which we just went out of that room. Pretty big room, pretty big computer. And we basically have to collect the bugs around the house so we can like freely use our spy equipment. So we've officially been given spy equipment despite being given spy equipment like earlier on. Oh, uh, where are you? Oh yeah, there's an armed guard here. He's Alex is fine. Yeah, so there's a. So there's this Alex Ryder movie, and there's also the um, the really good um, uh, TV series. So yeah, that was uh, recent. Oh. Wow, that was an interesting interaction. Try this is like the hardest staircase to ever go down because you got tank controls. We found all the bugs, and uh, we're gonna just uh, make it make our way through the rest of the uh, mansion. And quickly pick us up. Maybe I'll avoid detection by the guard over there. If I do, nice. <laughs> Go ignore this guy too. So when I'm in battle, I can't replenish stamina uh, as quickly when I turn. So I have to kind of manage it quite well. Okay, nice. So we reached the end of the mansion and it turns out there's like a bunch of caves underneath the mansion. Uh, but that's not the most important bit. Um, the most important bit <laughs> is we have 10 minutes of snooker. And I'm not kidding about that length by the way. <laughs> This is... <laughs> this <laughs> so the reason why we're playing snooker is because uh, we're about to have dinner with 
Darius Sale, who happens to be the villain. <laughs> of, um, yeah. And the billionaire that was uh, mentioned in the beginning. So yeah, the only way apparently you can complete this game quickly is you sink all the balls in. But the way that this snooker is played is really strict. Like you have to be on point. And oh yeah, so the reason why we're doing this is we're having dinner with Darius Sale and um, Mr. Grin, one of his henchmen, is like cooking it, cooking dinner. Oh, nice! I got one in. Uh, And yeah, the devs were probably like, they're working on another game and they just put it in it. <laughs> oh goodness, there's a lot I can sink in. But yeah, you have to sink in the red balls first and then you can sink, sink in the colour balls. That's how um, Snooker is played. Also, I cannot take longer than a minute on my turn. Otherwise, the timer will stop. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> like, the timer will just stop, and I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I just have to take my turn. So, yeah, they, they force you to make your move. Can't just wait 10 minutes. Oh, right. I sunk something in. Uh, I I need to hit a hit a ball that's not gonna sink. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Uh, balls in the middle. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, Snooker, by the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, Snooker. Yeah, which is the good thing about this. So there's a bunch of actors in this film I should definitely uh, mention. So I think a lot of people have spotted in the intro that was uh, Mickey Rock. Uh, apparently he's been nominated for an Oscar before this movie came out. So um, yeah, <laughs> not sure how they got him, but there you go. <laughs> uh, the guy that plays Mr. Grin, you know, the guy that's making dinner for us, uh, is played by Andy Serkis. Um, might know him as Gollum. Uh, earlier, um, Alex's, uh, I wouldn't say babysitter, just like, basically the person who could currently, uh, looks after him is, uh, uh Jack Sp Starbright. It's played by, uh, Alicia Silverstone. Um, she's from that, um, what is it? Was it Batman Robin Forever? Yeah. That, that movie. <laughs> that Batman movie. Uh, there was Ian McGregor earlier. Uh, yeah. Stephen Fry is basically the Q of, um, Alex Ryder. He gives us our, our gadgets. Uh... Oh, and then there was that guy that played Hagrid and Harry Potter. I forgot his name. 
but I know he's in the movie as a Prime Minister. balls maybe we might have it oh uh, I don't think so <laughs> I'm giving myself too much credit uh although if I was in the situation with hard AI maybe I would have had a decent shot at finishing this game early I just don't trust the AI uh this little AI But yeah, this this movie had way too many famous people in it. <laughs> uh, the actor who played Alex Ryder himself, uh, Alex Pettifer, he's um he's been in other movies. Uh, you may know him mainly from I would say Magic Mike. Uh, he's like one of the main guys in that movie. Th that was after this, so yeah. And he was also from In Time as well, the Justin Timberlake movie. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, Sale is having... Yeah. <laughs> the longest turn ever. There we go. of all the red balls are. Oh, once again, I do not have to win this game, in case uh, people need to be reminded. <laughs> it has been a little while since we've, we've been here, nearly 10 minutes. We're almost done. <laughs> win this which is quite funny <laughs> unless I majorly stuff up <laughs> I usually don't win snooker so yeah What I'm going to do is just wait for 10 seconds and then just hit the ball. Please go to 10. Nice. Yay! Look at all these camera angles you can go with too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're out of snooker hell. <laughs> now, guess what? The door's locked. We can't get out of our room after dinner.
But we have another mini game. Um, tech. This will be. This is perfectly normal, by the way. <laughs> so, I'm left-handed, and that's a problem. Uh, I can't see the screen that I need to see Alex on. <laughs> and uh, if I get spotted by any of the guards, it's a game over. I need to actually stop here because I will actually instantly lose. But yeah, how far I should go depends on the guards, like, uh, rotation. Game Evans unfortunately does not take you back to Stuka. <laughs> it just takes you back to the start of this new game. Oh good, the, the guard decided to not look out the window. Nice, have one minute. <laughs> oh, I always accidentally pause. So now we're gonna just, uh, get out of here. So we're just gonna run right into this cutscene. Also, I just noticed that guy just plopped down, spawned in. I think I got spotted just as I was exiting the room, so that was great. But anyway, we're going to enter into a cutscene here, which uh, shows of a pretty prominent character in, uh, yeah, in the series. So that's Yasin Gragovich. Uh, he's an assassin uh, that's working for Scorpio, which is a big uh, evil uh, corporation, as far as I know. But yeah, he doesn't like people that make mistakes, basically. Oh. And now we're going into the uh, mine. Oh, there we go. I well, okay, this starts you off in a really bad uh, spot. <laughs> So I'm actually going to my uh, DS screen here because we're about to use a um, one of our gadgets to DS. Yes. Um, so in the movie, they uh, so originally it was supposed to be a Game Boy, like in the novel, but the DS had just come out to, to obviously advertise the DS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alex has a DS. Alright, cool. We're out here. Oh, where am I going? This mine is confusing. And uh, we're going to activate one of our gadgets called uh, Green Screen. And that makes us invisible. <laughs> but it only lasts for 60 seconds. So I have to make the most of that time. Also, I can use only use it once per game uh, game file, so yeah, um, that's why you see like a mostly clean game file here, because uh, I can't yeah, I can't get it back unless I delete my save.
But yeah, that 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 was a design choice. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going into the underground base where the Soulbreaker computers were made. And we find that there's an actual uh, virus in them. Anyway, we find out that Yasin was uh, our uncle's uh, murderer. So, as you can suspect, we're going to fight him. And. You know, despite having a gun, he doesn't use it. But he might be onto something here. Oh yeah, by the way, some of the text that you see is uh, literally pulled from the novels. Anyway, so we've just been caught and we'd be put in a fish tank full of giant jellyfishes called Man of Wars. Uh, I know, so Man of Wars do not usually grow this big as far as I know. But yeah, they're, they're basically deadly Portuguese jellyfish. And yes, I had to apply the zip cream and I can't find my stylus. <laughs> Okay, yes, so the zit cream is a gadget that uh, we've also received. We're purposely just going to tank a hit here. We have three lives, so yeah. This is so that we can like get more distance and also... Uh, ...have more time doing this one and I cannot use the stylus properly. <laughs> also I need a cover. And this one requires the least, I believe. Hello? There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we're out of the jellyfish tank and uh, we're going to just, we have to pursue Sail as he's going to um, activate the stormbreaking computers and uh, infect a lot of uh, British school kids with um, the virus in the stormbreaker computers. Yo, we got the power up, let's go. Got the speed up. Yeah, but that lasted me for nearly the entire level, so that was nice. But anyway, uh, we're fighting uh, Andy Serkis' character, Mr. Grin. And unlike um, the previous boss, he actually uses his weapon.
I'll, I'll, I'll explain the motivations later, because uh, right now I got blow in the DS mic. to the DS mic, you didn't hear me because I put the headset up, but yeah. Oh jeez. So yeah, so... And we're in another mini game, by the way. Uh, do you like Ocarina of Time? <laughs> so... Uh, basically, we hitch a ride from our uh, castmate, uh, Sabina Pleasure. Yes, um, that's supposed to be a pun. Like every, um... <laughs> every Bond thing. <laughs> Oh jeez, I hit the wall. That's not good. <laughs> but yeah, basically we gotta beat Sail to uh, Sail Tower. But yeah, you bet. So the game just tells you to. Um, what do you call it? Uh. Not hold the A button, but we hold the A button. It's just faster. Anyway, so, um... Darius the sales motivations for infecting children with virus was because he got bullied in school and one of the classmates also happened to be the current Prime Minister of um, of the United Kingdom. So yeah, he basically just wants revenge from those, um, from those uh, school days. And he got bullied because he was like an immigrant or something like that. I don't think he was uh, born in Britain. But then uh, his family got lucky in winning the lotto. And he was able to build off his empire from there. Anyway, this security guard in the movie <laughs> is a bit of a pushover because he just kick gets kicked in the balls twice uh, by both uh, Alex and Sabina. Oh, there's a dude here. <gasps> there we go, we got the surprise! Got him. Uh, no, I'm not going in the right direction here. <laughs> That's the wrong direction. Wow. Bad whips. Tank controls. <laughs> that would be wild if that were to happen. Just skipping sneaker. Well, you're just gonna do that? Okay, sure. <laughs> he, he was just trying to intimidate me, apparently. <laughs>
Oh, where am I going? It's this way. <laughs> Enemy we beat up in the game. I don't remember correctly. Well, apart from the boss, but yeah. I don't want to lose my breath here because uh, I had to wait a long time for that meter to fill up. <laughs> yeah, yeah stamina controls both attacks and movement. Oh, sorry, yeah, and sprinting, yeah. All right, now we're going to confront Darius Sale. And uh, we just messed with his uh, backup plan. He actually had a backup plan in the case the Prime Minister stuff didn't work out. And yeah, it's difficult to get close to him because he actually shoots you. But once you get close to him, you can just like kick him. Uh, if you need to line up your kicks at any time, you can punch him. Oh, nice. Time will be very soon. But yeah, we just have this final cutscene to, uh, watch all that stuff with. So yeah, uh, Yasin finishes off um, Sale because, uh, you know, he made a mistake. So yeah. <laughs> Alex just walks towards the screen and um, that's time. So uh, one of my favorite things about the end screen is that there's this kid in the background that's just looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex is just like, yeah, it, this is not going to happen again. And well, we, we all know there's more books. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. <laughs> but yeah, so um, thanks uh, everyone who uh, um, who's uh, watched um, this run. Um, if you go want to watch this movie yourself, uh, I, it's not streamed, so I I don't know where you would be able to watch it. <laughs> you probably had to actually get a copy yourself, and. Um, if you want to watch the um, the actual good TV show, uh, I believe it's on Amazon Prime or Amazon something like that. I think it's streamed through that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's Alex Ryder Stormbreaker, pretty much. Um, it's obviously not the best game. It's very rough, but it it does have its um bad game charm, I suppose. 
and uh, a lot of mini games, probably a bit too many. <laughs> and of course, uh, 10 minutes of snooker. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'm on um, Twitter and uh, Blue Sky. Uh, Blue Sky is just Anal Frodo. And um, on my Twitch channel, Anal Frodo. I do run a various amount of games. <laughs> and uh, this happens to be one of them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was something, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, um, once again, thanks to everyone, um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon.